Hey everyone, Saga here with your weekly Monday memo. So, wow, what a week it's been last week. Uh, we're fresh out of Equinox week and the new moon and the shift into Libra season. And if you've felt it, you've probably felt a lot of realignments, a lot of things trying to click into place and a lot of things to do with balance. And that kind of continues this week. While there are no major shifts this week, the energies, of course, don't just disappear overnight. They, they linger and they blend and they, they evolve and flow into the next you know, shifts of the energies. So you will likely still feel everything from last week um, and be able to continue working with balance, alignment, and all that stuff. So uh, on Monday, today, the time of the upload, it is the day after the new moon. And a lot of people, myself included, that work with lunar energies, will work with, say, new moon or full moon energies the day before, the day of, and the day after. So it's absolutely still room for you to work with new moon energies if you didn't have a chance to do so. And some things you can do uh, is, you know, letting go of the old in favor of the new and the metaphorical planting of seeds, if you will. So new goals, manifestation, all those things. Uh, it's actually really beneficial to, you know, set an intention for a month ahead so that you can follow the cycle of the moon in working towards a goal that will then culminate with a full moon and then be celebrated or released towards the next new moon after the full moon. And other than that, of course, we're in Libra season now, happened last week. And while I've already explained this last week, uh, I will briefly say that it has to do with harmony, alignment, art, beauty, um, seeing things from different sides. Um, it can also be a little indecisive, if you will, but overall, it will help us be more aligned or balanced in different aspects of life and ourselves. Uh, Mars is still in Gemini and it will continue until next year, as I've said before, because of an oncoming retrograde, it's going to keep it in that sign a little longer, which uh, briefly means that our goals and our motivations are going to be a little all over the place, which can be good, and it can also be distracting. Curiosity will lead us into many different side projects, and it can be a good thing to harness that sort of energy, as long as you don't get too scattered. <laughs> Uh, Mercury is in Virgo. Of course, Mercury is in a retrograde, so we're still going to experience some issues with communication, especially depending on if Mercury will work with Virgo or against Virgo. It is the ruling planet of Virgo, but with the retrograde, it can get a little iffy sometimes with the energies, so it might be a stronger counter reaction <laughs> rather than easing up the retrograde energies. It also depends on your own natal chart as well and how it will influence you. Um, Venus will enter Libra the 29th away from Virgo, which means that our love and our relationships, not just romantic, will be more inclined towards harmony, alignment, and seeing things from the other person's perspective. So we're going to be able to cooperate a bit more and want to meet each other on a more even playing field. Um, of course, uh, it can also get a little superficial or indecisive because of that, you know, shadow side of Libra, if you will. But overall, it should lend itself to more harmony and mediating and communication and such, um, which will, of course, be needed with this Mercury <laughs> retrograde. Um, if you follow the asteroids in astrology, Ceres, which is an asteroid, <laughs> is going to enter Virgo the 29th as well. Um, Ceres can be described very, very roughly as a nurturer. So it, it, it taps into nurturing energies, which means that the, the nurturing energy is going to meet Virgo and Virgo is very rational and earthy and, you know, to-do list-y, <laughs> if you will, and organized. So you might find yourself that the nurturing side within you will be drawn towards um, a very like rational to-do organized expression, if you will. And with that, that's pretty much what's happening this week. Like I said, it's going to be a continuation of last week. It's going to be a lot of alignment, a lot about balancing things out in this chaotic retrograde energy. You know, we have at least seven retrogrades. Last I checked, six planets and Chiron, the asteroid. So there's a lot of, you know, deep stuff going on, a lot of evolution, a lot of growth, a lot of change, a lot of um, getting things unstuck and brought to the surface so we can process it. But alongside that, of course, the universe wants the best for us. So we're also getting all these like positive energies of alignment, of balance, of communication, of seeing things from different sides. So, you know, even when things get chaotic and feel very difficult and uncomfortable, the ultimate goal is for our growth and for our higher good. And that's a good thing to keep in mind. <laughs> and of course, as usual, I've drawn some cards for those who feel it's 
for them. And this time we actually got two cards <laughs> and they're kind of perfectly aligned with everything that's going on, which of course doesn't surprise me, but it's always fun to see. Uh, and the first one's life purpose. And the second one's empowerment. And while I tend to forget cards I draw because the message is not for me, unless it is for me, uh, I, I do believe that this has been drawn very recently, if not even just last week. So yes, if you haven't already picked up on this <laughs> from previous, I think this has been drawn too before, very recently. If you haven't already gone into this, this is your like double sign, do it, do the thing. And if you've already started doing the thing, this is your encouragement to continue doing the thing, which is of course to tap into what your life purpose is. And this can change. I want to make that a point. Your life purpose absolutely can change. So you might already feel like you've settled what your life purpose was like forever ago. Um, but it's important to t check back in and make sure that it's still aligned with who you are now because we grow and we change and we evolve. And so our life purpose grows with us. Um, so yeah, check into your life purpose and see if you can align yourself a bit more with what it is you think it is right now. Like it could be something to do with aligning yourself with your values and making sure your goals represent where you want to be and where you want to end up in like, say a year or two. Um, and with that is empowerment. And of course, these go hand in hand. You feel empowered when you're aligned, when you're doing what you're here to do, because we all are here to do something. We all are a part of the universe, of the weave, of the greater whole, you know, we're spirits having a human experience, collective, all that stuff, right? So everyone has a purpose. In fact, multiple, I would dare say. And so when we find that, we feel empowered. Because when, if you think to the times in life where you have felt not empowered, we have felt, um, you know, maybe like at rock bottom or like you're not in control of things. Control, of course, is an illusion, but this is not about that. <laughs> uh, but usually it's because you've been unaligned, right? If you think about it, it's been like a relationship that didn't suit you or a job that didn't suit you, or you feel lost, you feel like you're not really having any direction, you're not happy with the things you're doing. So it's all about alignment. And when you're aligned, you feel empowered. And when you're empowered, you also end up more aligned. So they're connected. So yeah, that's something that you're encouraged to really consider this week, building onto last week and the current overall energies of the retrogrades. And with that, I wish you a beautiful day or night wherever you are. I'll see you next week for the Monday memo and hopefully I'll get a video up on my YouTube channel this week, uh, Wild Moon Lilith. Um, you know, I, I've gone back to college, university uh, to finish up my master's. So my upload schedule is a little iffy, but at least these Monday memos are going to be regular. So <laughs> I'll see you there or I'll see you in a week. Um, have a beautiful time. Best of luck with your growth and you're important and you're meaningful and you're here for a reason. And I hope you can connect with that this week. So yeah. <laughs>